Plant medicine in the state of Texas? Power Biofarms is the first 100% local Fort Worth hemp company in the state of Texas, vertically integrated from seed to sale, from indoor cultivation, solvent-free extractions to product manufacturing, packaging, and shipping. Their mission is to naturally produce exceptional, small batch, cannabinoid-rich products that consumers believe in and trust. As for the stigma surrounding this once taboo drug, Power Biofarms says people are becoming more educated about the healing properties of CBD and are now looking for a more natural option outside of the old over-the-counter drugs. In this edition of Cannabis World Journals, we get a closer look at this company and its purpose, creating diverse CBD-based products that can help many people in the treatment of their conditions. Well, um, I think one of the easy things is that there needs to be more qualifying conditions added to the medical list. Um, and there's so many layers of, of, of room for improvement, not to give my state a hard time because I love Texas so much, but um, there, it, you know, it would love to see more qualifying conditions added, in particular chronic pain. I know there's some legislation in the, in the current session uh, that's been submitted that, that has put that on the table again. It was close to getting added in the last legislative, legislative session. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I didn't expect Texas to turn from, you know, pro prohibition to, to a wreck market overnight, but I'd, I'd like to see at a bare minimum qualifying conditions and um, all permitted, uh, excuse me, methods of consumption um, so that the people who need this me as medicine at a bare minimum have access to what works for them. You know, it's great. Like I said, it's great but how far we've come. There's just a lot more, a uh, lot more ground to be gained as far as, uh, really helping people that are that are suffering uh you know the chronic pain there's there's i think two million people in texas that are on opiates right now and and, and one of the, the bill that's been introduced would allow them to all qualify for cannabis as a substitution or, you know i don't expect all of them to take that offer up but uh, for the ones who would be interested i think that's such a great opportunity um and talking about methods of consumption right now only essentially because the one percent thc cap oh and i think actually explicitly for the law too there's no inhalable or combustible there's no flour um you know i, I think it, there's got to be a happy medium there I, I understand the uh enforcement and regulatory challenges that introducing flour uh you know just for medical users may may how that may create a challenge for enforcement things but whether it's through a vapable form or, or, or something there's gotta be some way because there's really no way to nothing delivers the medicine as smoothly as quickly and as powerfully as, as inhalable and and it's for so many people with, with you know really bad pain or, or symptoms for other conditions that immediate relief is something that they should absolutely have access to want to learn more about power biofarms read all about it in our 43rd edition subscribe now